Brown, and we're doing EKG. We were doing EKG. Now we're doing insulin. Insulin. And my case, my um, my cousin is here, just at the right timing, and we're we're doing what I just said. And good luck. We need to get as many people as we are watching. We need as many people watching as we can. Okay, so we need to get like twenty, like I would say like a hundred people to watch it. Okay, so please, please subscribe this video. Please push this very, th very more thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, put very, uh, put many thumbs ups as you can. Okay, and then you want to give any words of advice to the students and encourage them a little bit. Okay. P.S. <laughs> please um, do really good. Nursing school is really, really hard. It's like doing schoolwork, but mm -hmm. you're cutting people open, mm -hmm. getting blood on your hands, getting yeah, worms poop. in your hair, poop in your butt. <laughs> Wait, don't, don't poop in your butt. No, 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 pretend I didn't say that. Scratch that. <laughs> Scratch it. And redo. And redo. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Peace. All right. So what we're going to do today is go over insulin. Okay. So tell them we're going to talk today about the diabetes. Yes, that's important. So... Um, what? the diabetes is, I don't really know. My mom didn't tell me anything about it. So that's what we're going to learn today. Uh-huh. Yeah? And we already have 12 people watching it, and that's great. And it is, this is very important. So if you want to watch it, that we thank you. Mm -hmm. Time to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. We have lots of free videos. Lots of free videos. And subscribe. And we need a lot of, so um, when you see this, tell your friends. No, oh, that's good. That's good advice. If, uh, if we see 11 of you, we know you're um, telling your friends to watch it. Okay? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Any advice for them when they take their tests? Um, that when someone's cutting open, when you're cutting someone open, put some pain medicine. Yeah, that's mm. a good one. That is a really that's good a really advice. Good Mom, you're up. All right, I'm up, he says. Okay, so. I want you guys to go ahead and come in and tell us where you're from because we're pretty excited to have all you guys in here today. I tried to get the word out about this, uh, <clears throat> the free session to as many people as we can. Um, a lot of our videos that we do, we do one a month that is completely free. They're um, usually around one hour videos. We have a whole bunch of them that we've done this fall just to kind of get you guys engaged and, and interested in the content. And so um, we have those on our YouTube channel. I think there's five or six of them that are up right now. We have one that's on MI, one that's on um, Cushing's and Addison's, which everybody hates that one and can't ever remember it. And the video is awesome. You'll never forget it in history of all time. Um, we have one on fluid and electrolytes, which people equally hate. So basically what our job is here, you tell us what you hate in nursing school, which you don't understand, and we flip it around and we make jokes and we try to do it in a way that you will get it and you'll understand it. So yeah. we also have one on tuberculosis. Um, what did I miss? MI, fluid and electrolytes, Cushing versus Addison's, tuberculosis. We're doing insulin today. Um, and then on top of that, we have a bunch of videos that we do per week. So we have these like one hour mini sessions and we do them every Thursday. And those you register on our booking system for, which you'll see booking links all over our Facebook page. Every week we do a different body system. So one week we do a respiratory review. The next week we do endocrinology review. The next week we're doing neurology review. It gives you an overview of that body system. And then the week after that we do a one hour on the biggest concept that you guys are always asking about from that body system. So for instance, one week we did an endocrine review and the next week we did Cushing's disease or we did DKA. Oh, that's the other one that we have, free DKA video. And that one's awesome too. Um, they're really fun to do and they're super interactive and I promise you once you watch them, you will never forget the content, okay? So let us know what you hate. That's what we're here to do is to make you not hate things. Um, so you can inbox us, you can send us an email, whatever it is, so that we know the concepts that you're struggling with and we know what to offer. Then we have the one hour Facebook Lives every Thursday. Those you register for, they're only 25 bucks. They're super cheap, it's an hour. You get access to the video for up to 14 days. So even if you can't make it at the time we're doing the live, you can watch it as many times as you want in that 14 day period. So our booking system, you'll see it, you'll see the link all over the place. Um, so you can register for those. We have those going on all the way until December, okay? So we have endocrine left still. I think we have uh, respiratory and COPD. We're doing a lot on our Facebook Live. So be sure to join in on those because they're awesome. Yeah, Today we did, yeah, come out. Today we did EKG mastery session and it was really fun and interactive. So we got through almost all of the HR rhythms. We did all the HR rhythms and talked about the basics of EKGs and how to understand those. 
We're gonna do another EKG mastery session where we go over the ventricular rhythms and our heart blocks. I love the heart blocks. I know they're super fun. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna do one for that. So be looking out for that. So on our booking system, you'll see all the Facebook live sessions you can join in on. Then we have these two hour sessions that are intensive sessions. Yeah. Um, we have some for test taking. We do have, we do have a one hour test taking mastery session next week. So if you struggle with test taking, you know the content, but you're not getting the grades that you want, come and sign up for that one. Cause it is going to help you, you. We got you boo. It's going to help you so much. So we got that too. <laughs> um, I know we do individual sessions, Skype sessions. We do Facebook on demand. So if you and five of your friends, six of your friends in nursing school, didn't get the lecture of your dreams shocking mm -hmm. i know like maybe you went in and you got read powerpoints for three hours and you're not understanding the content and you have a test coming up we'll do a facebook live just for you and your booth okay yeah. so you'll call our office and say hey we have eight people that want to do this session um we need you to cover dka or we need you to cover congestive heart failure or whatever it is you didn't get and i'll create a session for you either one hour or two hour your choice and we'll make a personalized session for you based on your class notes your powerpoints what your teachers really want you to know and we'll nail it all right so we have that too right now because we're trying to be super affordable for everybody we nursing student we've been in nursing school before i've had the mice in my kitchen before i've eaten ramen noodles for three yes. weeks straight so i get it we get it so right now we are offering a 40 percent off promo code um, for any group session okay and you can get that if you subscribe to our text alerts and those are awesome because they're always going to tell you when our lives are coming up the free ones the not free ones the paid ones the little ones the big ones um, and so if you text, <laughs> More I don't know why I did that. I just did it. Um, text nursing, N-U-R-S-I-N-G to 85100. Then you can get into our texting service, nursing to 85100. And then you can get your 40% off promo code and come join us for super duper cheap. Cause we have some for 25 bucks. You get 40% off that. Yeah. I'm no mathematician, but that's pretty cheap. Okay. So join like us for summer. Like a foot long. It, Oh, but that sounds really good. We need 50 people to watch this. Yeah. All right. So today we are going over insulins. In school, diabetes was a huge struggle for me. I didn't really understand the endocrine system and how it worked. We have a full hour long free DKA video for you to watch. And it talks about the path of diabetes and what diabetes is and how it works and all the different hormones of the pancreas. So I'd highly encourage you Everybody, to hop over to our YouTube channel. Watching, you better, you guys better, a lot of people of you guys you guys better, a lot of you guys better watch it because I'm writing down how much are you are okay. <laughs> He's got you, yeah. okay? So what we want, uh, there's a, a one hour free, it's totally completely free if you go over to our YouTube channel and watch it. And I would encourage you after this is done to do that, okay? Because I'm gonna talk about the insulin say and how we treat diabetes, but you really have to understand the path of diabetes and understand the full gamut of what that looks like in order to understand exactly what insulin does. It'll just kind of come, kind of complete the picture for you. So go and do that, watch it. You know, it's also, the, uh, we have it on our Facebook page too. Um, and so if you wanna hop over there, but the YouTube channel is gonna have every video that we have um, that's offered for you for free, okay? So get on it, do it, do all the things. So convenient. So convenient. So today, all right, we are gonna talk about insulin, okay? And so I want you guys to tell me exactly what you know about insulin and diabetes. Walk me through, give me any fun facts that you know. Um, or that you can remember about insulin, like just the random things, like don't aspirate, they always tell you that, or you know, um, <laughs> regular boron pH. So bounce me out some fun facts so that we kind of know where you guys are at, what you know about insulin, so we can fill in the blanks with what you don't know, right? All right. By the way, hi, Mom. She said, I'm here, Casey. Oh, your mom is here? Yeah. <laughs> All right, walk me through what you guys know, okay? And what I'm gonna do today, well, I'm gonna draw some things up on the board and then we're gonna do an insulin chart. It's gonna be the easiest way you will ever remember the onset, the peak, the duration. It will change your entire life. So if you can't watch right this second, watch later because this will, you'll, you'll never forget this. Ever. It's, gee, I'm not gonna lie, it's the best thing probably I've ever done at Ivy League Tutoring. It's to create this beautiful little chart out that we're gonna do today. So, Samantha said type 1 will take insulin, and Claudia said there are several types of short acting and long acting. All right, so we got short acting, we got long acting. We know that there's lots of different types of insulin, so many that it's kind of overwhelming. All right, oh, our friend Samantha's here. We know you, girl. Um, Samantha is an awesome Ivy League student. She comes here and just hangs out with us sometimes. Yeah, um, and she says type 1 will always need insulin, so they are insulin dependent. Regular only IV, says Claudia. We know Claudia too. Um, insulin is vital for glucose to enter the cells. It's a key for opening the cells. You guys are giving me some good info. Keep talking. Keep telling me what you know. 
So let's talk a little bit about what insulin does, and then if we can understand what insulin does, and I want to talk about a couple of different pumps that go along with that too. Chris okay? says clear before cloudy. That's right, girl. Get it. All right. Claudia says only regular can be used in an IV. That is true. Yes. You guys know, see, you know some fun facts. You know, you know. They know. So we're about to bring it all in today. So we know that diabetes, there's two different types, right? We're not going to go over it in huge detail, but we know there's two different types. There's type 1 and there's type 2. Type 1 means we completely lack insulin. We're not making insulin, right? So this is a lack of insulin. So our bodies will always be dependent on it for forever. Type 2 is insulin resistance. So we have some, it just doesn't work all that good, right? So it's broken, if you will. <laughs> so insulin is produced by the pancreas, okay? We know that. Um, and so what I wanna talk about is kinda how it works. Okay, so you have these different cells, yes? Okay, so it, this is a huge concept that I did not understand in nursing school and I want y'all to understand it today, okay? When we talk about cells, these are not cells that are like um, living inside our vessels and like the cells that we're thinking of. These are like liver cells or kidney cells or any kind of cells that need oxygen, perfusion, and energy in order to survive, okay? So what insulin's job is, is to open the door to these cells so that glucose can get in. So we know that glucose is a sugar, right? So if glucose is a sugar and we require sugar in order to have energy. That's how our cells get their energy. That's how they survive. Without glucose, they shrivel up and they die, okay. right? And we can't have that. Mm -hmm. We don't want our organs to be dying. No, we, we don't want our patient's organs to be dying. Baby come back. We want everybody to <laughs> choose the baby come back. Oh, Lord bless us. All right. So we have glucose, which is our energy, right? Now we can have as much glucose in the entire world. It only works if we can get it into these cells, mm -hmm. okay? So in order to get it into the cells, the insulin is going to go and unlock the door, if you will, hey. and open up the cell so that all of these little glucose molecules can then come in and enter it, and then the cell can utilize it for energy, okay? Without the door opener, you can't get in, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to have insulin in order to utilize that glucose. So in diabetic patients, it could be that their glucose levels are super high because you have all this glucose, everywhere okay except for where you want it except for where you want it okay and please remember too that for diabetes management your brain and your kidneys are not on the same page okay <laughs> your brain is not super smart when it comes to managing diabetes your kidneys spot on your kidneys will jump in and help you spill out glucose because you've got too much in so if you start to see glucosuria which means glucose in the urine right then we know that our blood sugar is typically over 250, so that tells my kidneys, holy hell, we got too much glucose, spill it out and you'll start peeing out glucose, okay? But your brain thinks, well, dear Lord, you don't have any glucose because it's not in my cells. So the brain can only recognize what's in the cells. Your brain says, we don't have any, even though it fails to look on the outside. Oh. So if it says that there aren't any in here, then your brain's gonna say, eat more things, drink more things so that I can get more glucose, right? That's where you get the polyphagia and where you get the um, polydipsia and we're getting the um, polyuria, right? So sometimes it is what is on the outside that matters. That was so profound. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only time that what's on the outside matters, okay? But we're trying to get it on the inside okay because we're trying to teach them a lesson all right <laughs> so we have those glucose that's free floating the insulin's job is to come in and open up that cell so that the glucose can go in we can utilize it and we can uptake it okay now with insulin if we don't have enough insulin then we can't open the gate all the way and we're going to be hyperglycemic right yeah. if we give too much insulin this opens wide up all this glucose goes inside the cell and we can go hypoglycemic Please remember as fun fact for nursing school, if you have to choose a priority of hyperglycemia or hypoglycemia, which one your patient has, it's always going to be the low. You get will low, always get low. Die, you scared, okay. you scared. Okay, she, she's not right. Okay, you will always have a patient die of hypoglycemia before they will die of hyperglycemia. Because you're going to think, we got type 2 diabetic patients that have been type 2 diabetes for 15 years and they're walking around out there. I can't see that good, right? But they're walking around and they're still surviving. So hyperglycemia is much less life threatening. I know I'm so weird. It's much less life threatening than hypoglycemia. Okay? Please, as a disclaimer, know we are not making fun of diabetes. We know this is a very serious illness. We are just trying to help you to remember things. Okay? 
All right, so insulin's job is to open up the cell and allow our glucose to come in. So let's keep that in mind, and we're about to do the world's most amazing insulin chart. Are you ready for this? Oh, ready. I don't know if you're ready for this. It's pretty great. I'm okay. ready. So if you can write this along with me, it's gonna really benefit you. We're also gonna take a picture after we're done and post it, but I mean, let's not be lazy, shall we? Yeah. Do it with me, because if you can write it with me, you're gonna be writing, you're gonna be listening, you're gonna obviously be hearing some good raps, I... some good jokes, uh -huh. um, so I think it'll be fine. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. There are four different types of insulins. Tell me what those four different types are, whilst I am drawing this beautiful tart for you. Remember, there's a little bit of a lag, okay? So if you don't see me answer you right away, it's not because I don't love you. It's because I don't see you Claudia yet. says she's ready. I knew Claudia would be. She's always on it. Do I need you? Yeah. It's a different Claudia. Get ready to have your mind blown. I know. All right, who knows the four types? Rapid, short, intermediate, long acting. Who said it? Rachel Mendez. Good job, Rachel. All right, so we got rapid, short, intermediate, long acting. We're going to go through the different kinds of insulins when they're onset, their peak, and their duration. Now, before we start this, I want you guys to know you're going to see a thousand different references for this with a thousand different numbers. Don't panic, okay? We are teaching you today the trends so that you can remember what the trends look like. You're gonna look at a bunch of different resources and say, well, here it says one hour, here it says 1.5. If you get close to the number, you're gonna be able to get it right on the exam and you're gonna be able to save your patients, okay? So these are gonna be the trends and this is gonna work beautifully. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna do the nursing care for each kind of, um, of insulin. So you guys have already told me the four different kinds. We have rapid, we have short, we have intermediate, and we have long acting. All right, so I want you, what I want you guys to do as you're doing this chart with me, I want you to write the names of as many of these as you can remember. Which ones are rapid, what's short, what's intermediate, what's long acting. Write those out for me and see what you know. Let's test your knowledge first, and then we will give you the knowledge which you desire, okay? Write them down. We're going to give you about 20 seconds to do that, maybe 30 if we're feeling froggy oh, today. Okay. Oh, lots of people coming in with the answers. Yeah. I need Samantha Wood. What's up, girl? Okay. We got Sharon coming in. All right. So as you guys are filling in the chart, I want you to tell me as many names as you know here. We're going to go Great over those. Right. Human log and Nova log for ratchet. All righty. All right, you guys ready? All right, so for rapid, and we're gonna have some acronyms for each of these so you can remember. So rapid, oh, this is not dark enough. Rapid is gonna be the acronym of lag, okay? Because there is no lag time whenever you give rapid. It quick, is it not? Mm. Amen, so let it be written. All right, so you've got L-A-G, so you guys should be able to fill that in now that I'm giving you a fun hint, okay? So we've got Lispro. What's the A stand for? Aspart. And then what does the G stand for? Glucosamine. Okay. So these are the biggest ones you're gonna see. This is lag, right? Lag right here. And anything, we also have anything that ends with log. Lag and log, you right there. Those are your rapids, okay? Lag and log. With me? Mm-hmm. All right. Because when that me. log starts rolling, there ain't no lag. You better <laughs> run. You better run. Knees the chest. Knees the chest. <laughs> you know it. All right. Short acting. What do you guys know about the short acting? You want to get with shorty? Nah. <laughs> so your acronym here is nah, girl. All right. So we're going to do Novalin R. What's my A? Actropin? which doesn't make sense because it's rapid, so why are you going to do that to us? Yeah. Okay? And then the H is humulin R. So any of these are going to be ones that have R in it because we know that this is our regular insulin, right? So our big keyword up here will be anything that has an R on it. 
Keep four. Our thumb clutch with the answers. Beat you guys. Regular. Okay, so anything R. So Novolin R, Humulin R. All right, those are R for regular. All right, so this is a regular insulin is short acting. What do you guys know about the intermediate acting? What do we got here? Anything that's an N, right? Our biggest one is going to be in pH, okay? But anything, see how this one has R's on it, Novolin R, Humulin R for regular or short. Intermediate is all of my N's. I've got N pH. I've got Novolin N, right? Yes? Yes? Yep. Humulin N. So big takeaway here, anything that has the N is going to be your N intermediate. Oh, thank you, oh, Lord. Hey. Thank you, Lord, and I love how that works. Yes, yes. So that's my N's. These are my R's. Okay. And these are my L's. Larpa says, can you please repeat the A under short? She can't see it well. Atropid. Okay. All right. Our last one is our la 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 long acting. Oh, whoa, whoa. Why did I do this? Because it is all of our L's, right? What's included down here? Levomere. Okay, what else we got under long acting? Anybody else know the else? Lantus. What's our last L? Lente. Okay. Lente. Lente. So, big takeaway here is anything that is an L. Our only exception is we have one L that's under rapid which is Lispro, okay? So it's the only one that's gonna be on our exception. So if you look at how to remember these, rapid, a log is rapidly rolling, right? And there's no lag time there, you better run, that's our rapid, okay? Short acting, everybody knows the short acting's regular. For whatever reason, everybody can remember that. It's kinda like everybody can remember pH. So we always do like a starting point. So our short acting is our regular. So anything with an R, like our Novolin R, Humulin R is all regular, all right? Intermediate is anything with an N. So that's our N, the pH, our Novolin N, Humulin N, okay? And then we have everything that's long acting, which is like our Levomere, Lantus, and Lente, okay? Easy enough to remember all these things. Yeah. They all have the same letter. So it's gonna work out beautifully, okay? The last N, let's see, NPH, Novolin N, and Humulin N, okay? All right, and we will post this picture, and we'll post it later, so it's probably hard to see from where you guys are at, but we will post it up close for you. All right, so those should be easy for you to remember which ones are which. Now tell me what you guys know about rapid acting insulin. Give me your fun facts of what you know. Well, it's rapid, so we know it obviously works pretty quickly, right? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. All right, so if I know it works really quickly, then the insulin is going to open up the cells a lot of glucose minutes. to come in. It starts within 15 minutes. So what's included in my nursing care up here? What do I need? All right, so I know that it works that fast. You really need to have the food tray in front of your client, right? Therapist said, must have meal in front of them. Yes, yep. they love to test on this everywhere. Don't say like, give it before the tray gets there. Give it right before the tray gets there. Give it 15. No, the tray has gotta be in front of your clients. Me, okay? need with no, need for meat or something. Meal. 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 Okay, good work. 15 to 30 minutes. Yes. Yep. 15 to 30 minutes. You have to have the food tray in front of the client, okay? Because it's going to work really, really quickly. We usually do rapid based on some kind of sliding scale, right? And we can store this at room temperature for how long? How many days? Don't look at what I'm writing. 28. Wasn't there a movie? What a weird days? number. It is weird. It's kind of like the um, the baby Petey Shiley's have to be taken out every 29 days. I'm like, who did that? Okay, yeah, cut it this out. is 28 days. Cut it out. So stored at room temperature for 28 days. Make sure the food tray is in front of them. Okay, we're gonna go through our nursing care for each of these, and then I'm gonna show you the world's best insulin chart. Save yes. it for last. All right, so we know that rapid works really, really quickly. And when we're talking about onset, peak, and duration, which we're gonna come back and do that chart, that, those are the kind of test questions where they'll ask you when is the patient most at risk of hypoglycemia, okay? So that's where that's gonna come in and they love to ask test questions like that. So we're gonna end with that, all right? So we know that rapid works really quick. It's gonna start working within 15 minutes. So we need to already have done blood sugar checks before then. We're gonna go ahead and give the insulin, all right? And tell me what you guys know about administering insulin. What are your nursing care rules for any insulins? What are the biggest rules? Where do we put it? 
Do we aspirate? What do we need to do beforehand? Kind of walk me through what that nursing care looks like. I know you got this. Rotate Body, the sites. Do not aspirate. Do not aspirate. Mm -mm. Why do we rotate the sites? Why is that so important for us to rotate sites for insulin? All right. We got to think we're giving sub Q and we're giving it all the time, right? So if we keep doing it in the same sites, they can get something called lipodystrophy. Ooh. If they get lipodystrophy, it forms these little fat collections or these little areas of scar tissue. So then if you take the insulin and you put them in that area, then the insulin just goes inside that scar tissue. And remember, scar tissue does not give off or absorb medicine the way that it should. And so in those patients, you'll just end up putting insulin into a little pocket and the insulin actually won't absorb and it won't work. So you want to definitely make sure that you change sites. Do clean with alcohol first, okay? Once you inject it, you don't have to aspirate, right? They just, that's a, a relatively sort of new thing. So you don't have to aspirate, you can just put it in. Any other client teaching that you wanna do? Everybody talked about prevent tissue necrosis, don't aspirate, prevent bruising. Send two checks. <clears throat> do not rub it afterwards, right? <laughs> So after we give it, don't just be like, oh, does it hurt, does it hurt, and rub it. We don't want to do that. We want to let it absorb on its own. You can kind of pat the side a little bit, but you can't rub it. So pat, no rub, pat, no rub. And they get real specific on that on nursing school questions. So know the differences. Pat, don't rub, okay? Do not rub sites. There, I think your name's Shireen, I think, if I got it correctly. I may have butchered that. Um, but you're right, we do not rub it. All right, so we're going to switch the sites. And appropriate sites to give insulin is our sub-Q sites. Now we can give it an abdomen, but what's the important nursing consideration when you're giving it in the abdomen? What do you have to make sure that you do? All right, you said administer sub-Q. Okay, Claudia said, I read it's okay to pinch before, is that true? Yes, and you may have to do that in your clients that are very thin, because if they're super, super thin. Me. Casey, that isn't you today, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> okay, bless us, Lord. So in clients that are super thin, you may have to grab up and pinch it a little bit to get enough sub-Q tissue. Um, some patients obviously have enough tissue and you don't have to do that. I'm not pointing you out specifically. Well, I know Just, I don't. <laughs> but in some of them you may. So it is okay to pinch the area and then to give it. And sometimes it's really easier to do that. Um, so that way you have an area that's in. Just make sure you do not stick yourself. You let the patient know it's coming. Clean really well um, because they can kind of jump on you and you don't want to end up poking yourself. But yes, you can pinch up a little bit and that's okay. Okay. Two inches right. from umbilicus, yes. There it is. That's what I was looking for. Samantha can read my mind at this point. Okay. Shane said you can give it 90 degrees if the person is fat. You mean big boned or curvy? Fluffy. That is correct. All right. So Samantha said to make sure it's at least two inches from the umbilicus umbilicus. Yes. Measure out two inches. You don't want to give it in their belly button. That's weird. That's weird. So measure out two inches and you just stay at least two inches away from the belly button area whenever you're giving it there. You can also give it on the back of the arm. I mean, some of us are super muscular <clears throat> and don't have a lot of sub Q back there. Just kidding, I totally do. You could stick me like 412 times and still have plenty of room, okay? So we know kind of that nursing care and what that looks like, and then you're gonna teach the patient to do that too, right? All right, so I want you to tell me your nursing care, what you know about short acting insulin. So remember, short is regular, it's everything with an R, so novel and R, humal and R. So what do you know about the short acting insulin? Prince said, teach patient on signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia. Absolutely. That's right. Especially in the rapid. You're absolutely correct. And what are our signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia? There's some rhymes for this, right? <laughs> Cold and clammy. Cold and clammy need, need some, some candy. candy. Okay. All right. So we're going to teach the client signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia. Now, you want to also know the treatment and teach them the treatment, because just because they know the signs and symptoms, well, then they're like, I'm at the mall, and I know the signs and symptoms, and then that's it. So you have to teach them treatment. So if they are conscious out in public, like say they're at the mall or they're at the store or something, what's our treatment? Cinnabon. Not Cinnabon. Don't take them there. <laughs> at the mall. So if it is, if they're out in public Arcane. and they're conscious, then Arcane. ATI likes eight lifesavers. Um, most nursing exams, like four ounces of orange juice, um, some <laughs> um, NCLEX and some NCLEX like apps, like the answer um, honey, as long as the child isn't under two years of age, or a tube of icing, which we obviously all carry 
in our purse with us all the time. Literally, I'm not wow. diabetic and that sounds lovely. Mm -hmm. um, so like a tube of icing, you just squirt it in your mouth and you're like, whoa, easy enough. So you should get 15 grams of a simple carb followed by a complex carb. That's if they're conscious, right? And we're just out and about doing our thing, okay? What if they are unconscious at the mall? Like say they went to the mall, they meant to eat, they didn't, um, we get hypoglycemic. What would our treatment be if the patient is unconscious? Fun fact, do not stuff their mouth with eight lifesavers <laughs> if they are unconscious. Chum, 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 yeah, it doesn't work out well. So what would you do if they were unconscious? You should have this on your patient at all times, and this is a good teaching moment for them. Casey, do you know what it is? Kaden, do you know what it is? It's glucagon. So you should have I am glucagon I am. on them all the time. Give them the injection, I am, and then we can get the sugar that we need without trying to make them aspirate on all the lifesavers mm -hmm. and all the juice. It's okay, there's a hole in it. Yeah, yeah, but not for eight of them, right? All right. So what if they are conscious and they're in the hospital, what do we treat with? We could still do the 15 grams mm -hmm. of the simple sugar, right? Give them, some of the, give them the orange juice, do something really quick. If they're unconscious in the hospital, like admitted, then what do we typically give them? D50. D50, okay, so uh. D, dextrose 50%, basically you're giving them a bunch of syrup right into their vessels, that's gonna wake them right D4. up. D4, dang, that's it. Yeah, that's not what it stands for, <laughs> by the way, okay? So know those because, and watch those on your exams, because on your exams, they will say little words like conscious, unconscious, and you'll not be looking for it, not consciously oh. be looking for it. And then you'll realize you tried to give four ounces to an unconscious patient at the mall. We don't want to do that. Okay? Yeah, that's not good. So teach them the signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia, but also teach them the treatment. All right. So what did you guys come through? Uh, hopefully you came through for me and talked about some short acting or regular. What do we got? Anybody come up with some stuff for me? Oh, they're answering our glucagon. Oh, they're answering. Okay, all right. Candy, apple juice, shaking. Okay, yeah, we got this. All right, so with the hypoglycemia, you guys gave me some really good signs and symptoms. So cold and clammy, need some candy. Shaking, they get confusion. What you guys need to do is to go to YouTube and you need to Google Steel Magnolias salon scene okay the one where julia roberts goes into her hypoglycemic fit that is a standard like whoa that's hypoglycemia she starts sweating getting a little diaphoretic and then she messes up her own wedding hair if y'all haven't seen it you have got to go look at this that Spoiler will give alert. you a visual that you will never forget so go into youtube and look up still magnolia salon scene and watch julia roberts have go into hypoglycemia and you will always remember it. drink the juice shelby right drink the juice that's the treatment for hypoglycemia drink the juice Shelby, okay, so, <laughs> I know, I'm doing good today. All right, so our short acting, this is gonna be quick, not as quick as rapid, but it's still gonna be, yeah, okay. So we're gonna give this about 30 to 45 minutes prior to meals, right? Because we're gonna give it a little bit of time to work. Um, give 30 to 45 minutes before meals. All right, what else do you guys know? Give me some nursing care. Don't leave me alone up here. I don't wanna be alone, being alone is sad, okay? Um, when we're giving regular and we're mixing it with NPH, which one comes first? Dum da da dum. They say clear before cloudy. Clear before. Well, which one's clear? Right. Which one's cloudy? I'm gonna tell Dumbo. <laughs> He's lonely. He was oh, lonely. Oh, he was. Oh, he was Good call, Caden. All right. So, which one's clear and which one's cloudy then? So that way we know what's what. Rapid is clear. Or short. Short. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm and intermediate okay so how i remember it is you all want to eventually be rns right so you're always going to give the regular before the nph okay all right so we're going to get regular before NPH or draw up regular mm -hmm. before nph okay whenever you're drawing up multiple um different kinds of insulins right what about the temperature of insulin what's really important about the temperature what do you guys know about that don't look at what i'm writing don't cheat just tell me what you know Do not give it cold, Cheat. right? Cheaters so you're use. going to um, you're going to warm it first, and when I say warm it, don't put it in the microwave. Never don't vigorously off. shake it. I, I think as far as nursing school is concerned, anytime you see the word vigorously, it's probably not the right answer. We don't want to do anything with such a vigor. Okay, uh, don't give it cold. So we usually will just roll it in your hands. Don't shake it. Don't stick in the microwave, don't leave it out, don't do any of those things, just take it out of the fridge if you have to, um, and it will be ready to give it, and then you're gonna roll it in your hands in order to warm it up. If you do give it cold, it can cause severe uh, lipodystrophy in your patient, you're gonna get those big scar tissue areas or areas of fat um, that don't absorb the insulin very well, and we don't wanna go there, do we? No, we don't, no. so don't give it cold, know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. If they are in DKA, Oof. I'm gonna be giving regular insulin, what route am I going to use for DKA? What route and what exactly am I going to be giving? 
IV. How'd you know? He's so smart. Wow. So when they're in DKA, you're going to give regular insulin, which is what we're here on shorts, IV. And they like putting this on nursing school tests. So just be ready for that because they'll say which order, uh, your patient's in DKA, which order would you question? All right. Well, it'll say um, give insulin sub Q and your mind sees give insulin and you're like, yeah, that's so good. But it says sub Q. Now, normally they'll go home on sub Q, but if they're in DKA and our blood sugar is high, we need to be giving them some regular short acting IV insulin in order to get it quickly. Okay. Prince said so, if regular is cloudy, don't give it IV. That is right. That is right. Something is terribly good for wrong. You. Something good for you. Another really fun fact with this is do not expose this to sunlight. Ooh. Okay. It loses its potency, so do not expose to sunlight. We need to keep it covered, okay? So don't, if you live in Florida, be cautious, okay? So don't expose it to the sunlight. Um, you want to make sure that when your patient is on short acting and rapid acting too, that they keep, you want to uh, teach them to keep a, um, a glucose source with them at all times, okay? And we talked about a couple of those. Don't go outside. That's right. All right, so keep glucose source at all times, okay? And they should be trained to or taught to do that um, no matter where they go. Okay. What else do you guys know? Anything else we need to know about this? How is this made? This is a big like test thing. How is this made? How is short acting or regular made? Noblin R, Humulin R. How is it made? And what kind of patients would you have to be cautious with knowing how it's made? All right, Jessica said regular is the only insulin you can give IV. That is true, okay? Absolutely true. All right, remember a lot of these are made with pork, okay? So if they are made with pork, then you need to be cautious for dietary, um, cultural, and religious reasons. You always want to check that, okay? So check dietary, religious, cultural, people that cannot have pork, okay? And that's a tricky one that they like to add, okay? Sharon got that one right. Nice job. All right, so that's our short acting. Let's move on to our intermediate acting. All right, so intermediate acting is all of our insulins that are in pH, nonobolin N and humulin N. I know, I got the alliteration today. Okay, so tell me what you know about intermediate acting, okay? So we're kind of moving a little more slowly with this kind of insulin, okay? What color is it? Um, and give me some of your nursing care that you need to know. You guys said that your short acting is typically clear. clear. So that means is is it white? It's cloudy. It's so cloudy. yeah, kind of. Yeah, sure is. All right. So white, white. yep. So intermediate in and in. All right. So tell me what you guys know. All right. We definitely know that this is going to be our cloudy, right? So if you're the kind of people that remember the clear before cloudy, then this is for you. So we know that's going to be a cloudy suspension, okay? Um, they usually will have these in pre-filled syringes. If you have the pre-filled syringes, um, those need to be stored in the refrigerator, okay? So put those in the fridge. Um, they like to ask about things where you, who do you put in the fridge? Or not who, don't put people in the yeah, fridge. Do not put people in the fridge. Unless Just put they're insulin. already dead. <laughs> And then still put them in the freezer. Still, <laughs> just put no people in a fridge. <laughs> yeah, just don't do that. That's bad advice. All right, so pre-filled syringes are going to go in the fridge. Um, do not mix with long acting. How come? Why? Don't mix with long acting. We don't want to do an intermediate with a long acting. Those do not go together. Like our short and our intermediate can go together, but an intermediate is going to last a long period of time. Long acting is going to go even longer than that. So we don't want to mix really anything <laughs> with our long acting. Okay. So don't mix. Okay. For this, because it does last a longer period of time, um, we need to monitor our blood glucose. Okay. Q6. All right. So we're going to do our glucose, uh, blood glucose Q6 hours. Um, because that's when we're kind of watching that intermediate um, <clears throat> when it's coming in and when it's going in our peak, okay? We know that we're going to draw up regular and then NPH. So remember your RN, regular and then NPH, okay, as far as drawing up. Make sure that you are mixing in the palm. So if you've got these things in the fridge and you need to warm them, mix in the palm. 
I don't know why this is such a big deal on nursing exams, but they like this word palms. Mix in your palms. As if you're going to take it and do this. Palms are sweaty. Knees weak, arms are heavy. Palms <laughs> So mix it in the palms, roll it, okay? And that's how we're gonna warm it a little bit. All right, tell me what you guys know about long-acting insulins. These are our lele long-acting lelevimir lelentus lelente. I know. Um, one thing they like to ask about is to still give it to your patient, even if they're in PO, okay? Um, because it's going to give you just a, it's not going to do like a bolus dose like we usually see here. It's usually going to go into your body. It's going to give you a kind of more basal dose over the next 24 hours or so. So you can give it to the patient, even if they're NPO, okay, unless they're going to be NPO for a super long period of time. But this is usually something we can still give. Um, we typically do not mix with pretty much anything else, okay? Just don't mix it. Um, because long acting gets kind of weird, and once you give it, you I mean, can't un give it. 24 hour duration. 24 hour duration, show does. Show does. Okay. Okay. So, are you guys ready to learn onset peak duration and the easiest way to do so? Because I have seen, and we actually posted one earlier of a picture of like, and it has all these hours on it, and everybody really liked it, but it's just, it's still kind of confusing to have all of those numbers. So, what we did was try to think of the easiest way for you guys to remember this. So whenever you are doing onset peak duration, set it up exactly like this. Have your rapid, short, intermediate, long acting, onset peak duration. So what does onset mean? That's when it's first, we're first gonna start to see it actually work. And then our peak is, when is it highest in the body? And for nursing school questions, when they give you the peak, okay, that is the time that the patient is at highest risk of hypoglycemia. So that's the time that you're gonna draw the blood sugar because it's at the highest level in the body, therefore highest risk of hypoglycemia. And then the duration is how long it's gonna last in your body. Okay, so you guys ready? Super easy, you'll never forget it again. All right. Mind. So this goes off a, a rule of doubles. So everything that I write up here, and I'll give you one exception, but everything I write up here is gonna be on the rule of doubles, meaning we double everything, okay? So you only have to remember just a couple of things that makes it super easy. So onset, how fast is rapid onset? We know that that onset's in 15 minutes, right? So I'm gonna double that, and this is 30. I'm gonna double that, that's 60. I'm gonna double that, and that's 120. That's it for onset. What? Easy enough? I know, it's so crazy. Okay. Peak, all right? We know that this is gonna peak really quickly because it's a rapid acting. So we're gonna peak in one to two hours. Yes? Real quick, Claudia, the peak is the greatest risk for hypoglycemia. Yes, hypoglycemia, greatest risk for hypoglycemia. All right, so we know we're gonna peak in one to two hours. Double it, two to four, double it. Yes? Yep. Four to eight, okay? Remember though, with long acting, there is no peak. Because remember, long acting doesn't do this and this. Long acting comes in and it gives you kind of a basal dose over a period of time. So you will not see a peak. Okay. No peak. No peak. All right. Duration. All right. So we know this starts in 15 minutes, peaks in about one to two hours and it's gone within about three hours. Right? Yep. Okay. Double that. Six. Double that. Twelve. Twelve. Double that. Twenty-four. And if I can't remember the three, I always say, okay, I know for sure long acting is 24. So I start with the 24 and go backwards. Okay. Easiest way to remember it. You'll never forget it. Super duper easy. Drops mic. Boom. Dum, dum, dum. Okay. All right. So we are going to take a picture of this. You will have this up there. Okay. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can post it on the thread and we are going to answer all of your questions. Yes, we okay. Will. Um, this is our basic nursing care. There's tons of nursing care we could go over, but this is the basics of insulin and what you need to know. Basics of our onset peak and duration. So you can answer these nursing school questions, right? Yes. Um, you've got acronyms for each of these to remember exactly um, which ones go with which, okay? Because what I would do is I would remember, okay, I know short acting is 30 minutes, but I didn't know what it was called, so it didn't really help me when they mm -hmm. asked me a question about Noble and R. I'm like, I don't, who you be? I don't know, okay? So you should have acronyms for here. This is the rule of doubles, super duper easy. Ask us any questions, we'll be glad to answer those for the next forever. And then let us know what else you guys are having trouble with and we'll start to create some videos, some acronyms, get you going through nursing school, mastering all the things, okay? All right, so I'm really glad you guys joined us today. We'll be doing another free session next month, okay? Hello. Yeah, and I think we're doing hmm, neuro maybe? Oh. Maybe DI versus SIADH, I don't know, something really cool. But let us know what it is you guys want and we're gonna create some content so you can remember all the things, okay? It was awesome being with you guys today. You were super smart. Caden, you did a really good job today. He learned a lot of things. All right, so we will see you guys next time. Y'all take care. Bye, have a good one, y'all.